All right, in this video, we're going to cover graphing points and naming quadrants. It's a Khan Academy exercise. Here, they tell us to plot the point 8, negative 3, and select the quadrant in which the point lies. So quickly, we go from the origin. That's, that's our starting point. The origin is this point right here, 0, 0. So that's usually our point of reference. So when you see 8, negative 3, that means move 8 in the x direction, right, which is this horizontal axis, 8 in the positive x direction to the right, and then 3 in the negative y direction. Negative y direction is down, down 3. So we go over 8, down 3, and that gives us our point right here, 8, negative 3. Now the quadrants, um, the word quadrant, of course, quad means 4, and quadrants, there are four of them. And you can probably imagine they're formed from the two axes. If you draw an x-axis like this and a y-axis crossing it to form the letter T, what you've done effectively is create four regions, right, that's, that form from those two intersections. And those are the four quadrants. So they go in clockwise order, or counterclockwise order, starting in the upper right corner. So this is Q1, and they usually use the Roman numeral I for one, and then Q2 for the second quadrant, and there's that Roman numeral for the number two, Q3 for the third quadrant, and there's the th symbol for three in Roman numerals, and Q4 for fourth quadrant, and this is the symbol in Roman numerals for the number four. Some properties, you know, you want to play with points that are in these quadrants, but any point in the, the first quadrant has an interesting property where both x and y are positive. So for example, 6, 3 I would know right away is in the first quadrant because both 6 and 3 are positive, and that's to do with the fact that the x and y axis are both positive in this region. It's a little different over here in the second quadrant, right? The x direction in this quadrant is negative, but the y values, the y direction is still positive. In the third quadrant, what do we have happening? Well, both right? Both x and y are negative, so if I have the point negative 6, negative 3, that would land me in the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant, right, has a positive x and negative y. You don't have to remember that, you don't have to memorize that, but just think about, you know, how do I move from the origin to get to the fourth quadrant or the third quadrant, right? To get to the fourth quadrant, you have to move over on the x and the positive and down on the y. Therefore, all points in the fourth quadrant have positive x and negative y. One interesting thing that happens though is points on the line, right, like this point right here, 8, 0, or this point right here, 0, 8, right, all of these points on the line are not in any quadrant. So the, the origin and all points on the axes, they're on the axes, right, that's what they are, they're not in quadrants. All right, thanks.